What is good everybody? Welcome back to another My Damn Toys video. Today I have another WWE action figure set up for you guys and it is Monday Night Raw edition. <laughs> So guys, lately Monday Night Raw has been absolute trash. Like, if you guys watched my review this past week, like, I couldn't even get through the review. Like, it was absolutely dreadful. I could not stand watching another second of it. But here I have a setup for you guys with my WWE Action Figures Monday Night Raw edition, of course. And I hope my setup is a lot better than the weekly show garbage we get on a weekly basis from Monday Night Raw and WWE. So let's go ahead and get started in the general manager's office. So if we start out in the GM's office, guys, we do have the general manager, Kurt Angle, right here, arguing with Constable Corbin. You know, Constable Corbin trying to get the upper edge in his WWE career. Since he's so close with the GM and Stephanie McMahon now, you know, he's trying to convince Kurt Angle to give him opportunities, and you know, Kurt Angle's not having it. He's he's smart enough. He knows that uh, Baron Corbin is up to no good. So that's what we got in the GM's office. If we come through there, you will see Finn Balor on his way to talk to the general manager, Kurt Angle, talking about, you know, he wants that multi-man match at Extreme Rules to happen so that he can get his Universal Championship back that he never lost against Brock Lesnar. Just beyond that, we have Sami Zayn, who has just been put on the shelf with two rotator cuff injuries. Obviously, you can't put two slings on the figure there. I, I don't even know how that would work. It would look awkward. But anyways, there is his best friend, Kevin Owens, you know, consoling him, seeing what is up. Sami Zayn out until 2019, so that is tough and unfortunate. Just right here, we have Jason Jordan, who is clearly, you know, cleared for action, but he's just standing around waiting for somebody to tell him to go out on television. Dean Ambrose in this same boat right here, but uh, we come to the Ford, and we have the team of Dolph Ziggler and Drew McIntyre yelling at the Raw Tag Team Champions right here, Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt, telling them they are coming for their Raw Tag Titles, even though the B Team is the number one contenders. The new Intercontinental Champion and his uh, partner here are ready to come for that. And of course, they're just sitting there saying that is absolutely wonderful. You know how Matt Hardy and Bray Wyatt do. Just beyond there, we have Jinder Mahal, and he is looking at the monitor right here, watching his opponent go to the ring, which we will get to in just a few moments. But we have the modern-day Maharaja right there. Just beyond him, we have the Raw Women's Champion, Alexa Bliss, talking to her good friend, Mickey James, right here, you know, talking trash about Ronda Rousey and that whole situation. What are they going to do when Ronda Rousey returns from suspension, guys? You know, they are definitely worried about that, and they definitely should be. Cannot wait for Ronda Rousey to get back on Monday Night Raw. Beyond that, we have the Mon Monster Among Men, the Monster in the Bank, Braun Strowman yelling for Brock Lesnar with his Money in the Bank contract. You know, looking for Brock Lesnar, nowhere to be found in this arena here tonight because he never shows up for work. So uh, how can he cash in his Money in the Bank if he never has a champion to cash in on? So that's what we got going on right there. Uh, right here we have Bobby Lashley and Roman Reigns trying to pick a fight on who should fight Brock Lesnar. Bobby Roode and Chad Gable trying to break up this fight right here. Of course, Bobby Lashley getting in Roman's face and vice versa. Either man doesn't know, or each man trying to plead their case on why they should fight Brock, even though it should probably be neither of them, but that's what we got going on here. Right here we have the B Team, the number one contenders for the Raw Tag Titles, drawing up their B Team t-shirts. You got the white tees and their Sharpie markers right there, trying to draw up their B Team shirts. You know, I'm sure they'll look nice when they're all done and set. Beyond Roman Reigns and Bobby Lashley, we have Bailey and Sasha Banks getting in a catfight right here for the 850th time. I guess Kurt Angle doesn't need to see this because if he does, then Bailey will be fired because she's supposed to be in counseling, but she's in the hallway beating up on Sasha Banks. Over here, we have Elias running out of the locker room. Not exactly running, just sort of uh, walking out there with his guitar. He's going to go play a concert here soon, so he's got to get ready for that. Beyond that, we have No Way Jose, conga line nowhere inside, so he's just dancing all by himself. Right here, we have the man, Monday Night Rollins, Seth freaking Rollins, on his way to the ring for his match with Jinder Mahal, who is, you know, like I said before, watching the TV screen to watch Seth Rollins' entrance. And we have one more portion of this setup to show you guys. If we come all the way over here... Far, far away in a galaxy far, far away, not even close to the Monday Night Raw arena, we have Brock Lesnar on his private jet 
with his advocate Paul Heyman and the Universal Championship far, far away from the WWE. You know, he's arguing with Paul Heyman. You know, I don't ever want to defend my championship, and Paul Heyman is smiling and grinning because he knows for a fact that uh, he can get out of it. You know, he doesn't have to defend the title ever, and that's what he's trying to tell Brock. Just calm down. You don't have to defend your championship at Extreme Rules. You're all good. So that's pretty much what we got right here, guys. Brock Lesnar far, far away on his private jet. Not even close to the Monday Night Raw arena and this setup. But that pretty much does it for this WWE action figure setup, guys. I hope you guys did enjoy. If you would like to see a SmackDown Live version, please let me know down in the comments section below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the setup or the video. Subscribe to the channel for more epic WWE figure videos. Follow me on Instagram and Twitter at MyDamnToys, and I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you.